Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Pemco S88C clear silicone seal adhesive backed fire smoke gasketing. This is what a package of it looks like. I've got two of them here for the client. Available in different colors. Um, available in colors. The C means that it's clear. The only color that you see there is just the peel away paper from the back of this. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Teardrop shape design. So the S stands for silicone. The 88 is representative of this very classic sort of teardrop shape uh, self adhesive gasketing used for fire and smoke control. Doors that are listed as fire rated can also be listed commonly as smoke control too. And this material uh, brings you into compliance with that code uh, uh, that you will have on a door. The um, material is uh, available in those in colors, not only clear, your uh, white, dark brown, um, possibly black, you know, things of that nature. You just insert, you just switch out the C in the part number, S88W, S88D. The D is by far the most common color, the dark brown. Um, this material is used in those openings, like I said, that require uh, smoke or, or fire or draft control. Um, easily applied with this by removing the self-adhesive paper backing that's here, high quality adhesive that's on here. Um, going to include a decal that you'll apply to the frame which indicates that the opening once this material has been applied is compliant with uh, fire and smoke control requ uh, requirements for draft control. Now the, inst the installation instructions, they're included and they're right over here. I'm going to give you the cliff notes basically of the installation aspect. It's really easy uh, to put this material on and requires no tools other than scissors really. Um, however, patience uh, pays off when you're installing this. The first thing is do not install this material in a continuous run around your opening. You want to install the jams and the header as pre-cut pieces, even mitered at the inside top corners. Okay, um, Those inside corners will be points of failure. The, the adhesive is not you're not going to be able to get this material to bend well enough to be able to stay attached reliably. Uh, step two is removing about 24 inch worth of this material as you're applying it. Now I personally find that that's too much to work with because when you're installing it, because you're installing it in the inside corner of the rabbit and the face of the stop of the frame being a straight line, any waviness that you have when you're installing this is going to be really obvious. So take your time, put it on slow, and I like working with a smaller amount of material so that I can really control the quality of the installation. I have found about a foot. Also, the reason not to have so much the first time I was putting it on, I was following the instructions directly. You know, two feet of this, I've got a lot of it hanging down with the adhesive peeled back, and if you unintentionally hit it and get it stuck to the frame, you got to pull it off, and that that compromises, you know, the the, the adhesive's ability to do its job. Uh, and if this is a fire rated opening, which it very likely could be, that material has got to be applied, applied solidly. Otherwise, you're in violation of the of the listing requirement of the opening. Uh, position the adhesive gasketing as illustrated down here. It says, "Do not stretch the material." That's really important. Don't pull it taut. Don't don't pull it because it's going to want to you know take you know resume its na natural shape, and that that will give the adhesive a hard time to to contend with. Um, once installed, I mean literally jumping down to step five at this point. Apply firm pressure along the entire length. Don't put your hand on it and pull your hand down to get it stuck. Just push. Pulling your you know doing like this will stretch it out. Next day you'll come and it'll it'll have popped off in certain. Uh, places. Um, most importantly, before you install this material, the frame has to be completely clean, free of debris, no dust, utterly clean. If the paint has been, pardon me, if the frame has been painted 
within the the previous week. Wait, the paint must be fully cured before you put this on. So important that they even package frame cleaner, which, you know, think of it as a wet nap is what this material is. Make sure that it's used. Uh, this is a, you know, a formulation of something that is going to dry and remove particulate without leaving anything behind that will compromise the integrity of this. Now, where I've used this material, obviously in the application that it's listed for, fire and smoke gasketing, but I have used it uh, very effectively because it's so easy to install anywhere where you want to help keep down the transmission of wind passing through or air passing through or dust and debris passing through. Application typical that I've used it in, building. The back two-thirds of the building is the shop or warehouse and the front is the showroom. Okay, front door, uh, front door and back door of the building. When those two doors are opened, that wind will come howling through the building. If you've got a demising wall between your warehouse and your shop, shop or in your showroom, whatever's dusty in the back will probably try to find its way to the front and then collect on all of your showroom material. I have had great success with you know, self-adhesive gassing like this just to help to retard the trans transmission of dust uh, between those two spaces within a building. Now, clear is less common, but where you're going to see this in those instances where you want this material to be as unobstructive in terms of seeing it as possible. Uh, this stuff is available in different roll lengths. This is a 25 foot roll. Uh, common rolls are, of course, going to be 17 foot, 18 foot, 20 foot, 21, 25, and even 510 foot rolls. A 17 foot roll you know, seven feet here, seven feet here, plus a three foot head. So a three foot by seven foot, that's 17 feet. If you've got, uh, you know, an 18 foot package, you know, they're thinking four foot by seven. If you've got 25 foot, you know, you might be dealing with something that's going to be eight foot by eight foot, you know, that kind of opening. Uh, if you've got a large, let's say a motel to do, buy the 510 foot roll as much as you can because you're going to eliminate all this packaging all the waste of the packaging and plus economically a workout you know per foot to be less with a 510 foot roll. Uh, if you have any questions on the Pemco S88C self-adhesive gasketing or any other Pemco product please feel free to reach out to us. Pemco is a full line manufacturer of all things adhesive we weather stripping related um, but, but the common material as well your thresholds, uh, door sweeps, they have a full line of residential weather stripping like adjustable top thresholds. They also do sliding aluminum track and hardware along with a full line of aluminum continuous geared hinges. Any questions on this or anything uh, Pemco, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.